This month on Before the Badge, we're introducing you to an IMPD officer who is known since he was a little boy that he wanted to join law enforcement. But when his father was arrested and sent to prison, he started questioning the career and wondering if he would continue on that path. When my father was arrested, I just did not care for the police anymore. So to me, they were the bad guy, they were no good. I was like, how can I, why would I want to be a part of that? And then I just told him I didn't want to be a police officer anymore. And he kind of looked at me, he's like, well, why? And I said, well, you know, they put you in here, you know, they took you away from me. And he told me, he's like, you know, it's still your choice if you want to be a police officer or not, but just know that you shouldn't be mad at someone who was doing their job when I was doing wrong. And that kind of stuck with me. And then. As I got older, I kind of understood that a little bit more. Growing up, Officer Robert Camfer visited his father in prison often and says it made him the officer he is today. It made me see just because somebody has done time or gone to jail or committed a crime doesn't mean that person is always particularly a bad person. Um, it showed me that people do make mistakes and people can change from those mistakes. And I honestly think my dad seeing him then and now is totally different. As a child, he also had the chance to be part of the Gang Resistance Education and Training Program, also known as Great Camp, and was influenced by a certain officer. Officer Williams, uh, now Commander Williams, uh, she had the biggest impact on me. I remember she walked into our class, she just walked in and she just had this command about her and she was just there just to get us in line like that just by the sound of her voice and like everybody listened. But it wasn't like she was talking down on us, it wasn't like she was just, she just had like a nice command about her. In June 2017, Officer Camfer joined IMPD. He did four years as a patrol officer on North District and now works for the Violence Reduction Team. Growing up, you know, you, you see like the drug dealing, the you know, people being hurt, so I was like, you know what? I would like to go out to violent crime. That's kind of like my why on why I wanted to join. You know, serving the community and all that comes with the job. But for me personally, it was, I want to target violent crime. And that's what you'll find him doing these days, patrolling the city he grew up in and knows all too well. Sometimes I'm driving past, I'm like, wow, I remember walking down this street, I remember doing this, and then looking at the people now in the neighborhoods or some of the kids, I'm like, you know, I would like for it to be better than when I was there. Um, just because something is one way doesn't mean it has to stay that way. And I do feel like I'm in a position that I am now, especially the team I own, to kind of change that. And I think we are doing a pretty good job at it.